Alright guys, and welcome back from the pursuit of Brave and Lays in the combine in Phil 15, making a better job of it than the last episode. He says She's watching the uh, Lion Guard now. The latest incarnation of Lion King. It's fun actually. It's one of those cartoons that you don't mind watching. They're not overly annoying. It's like memories of the past. Lion King was a thing we used to when I was a kid. <laughs> oh bugger. I think I've overcooked it on that one. Just not quick enough. The activation for my... Uh, GPS is the left hand side d-pad on the wheel obviously when the wheel's upside down <laughs> it becomes a challenge to find it, <laughs> it oh, very much messaging me but it's just off screen I can't see I wonder if I can actually get it I can aha but we lose the sound ah, that's what he's up to Yeah, so. Yes, I'm watching you. What is that load thing then? Is that. Does this combine have a blocking script? Let's take over, see how far we can go. Yes, it does. It's got something on it. Look at it, it's gone right up. I wonder if it's even possible to block that then. Some MR stuff there. Oh no, I don't think it was MR. I think it was another script. You could block up bailers. You had to get out and dig them out. If you went a bit quick with them, they didn't like that. <laughs> like in theory, uh, I suppose in real life, if you wanted to be a tool, you could just put the foot to the floor in the combine and just rag it through the field. It would no doubt cause a lot of damage. But in theory, it'd work. What are you doing, cabbage? Shh. <laughs> She's playing with the blocks of wood. I think she likes them because they're noisy. At least now when she's got rid of them. Right then. So, are we out the road? Yes, we are. Does his head come up a bit much? I can't decide. I am under the impression that I've kind of cost myself here. I'm going to definitely need that extra headland, I think. But what I had to do a couple of cuts across. Just gives me that more space to turn around without making an ass of it. Or even more of an ass of it. Is there only one up this side as well? I think there is, isn't there? Ooh. Yeah, okay then. Right. We better do a lap. Come on. See if we can get a full cup. Yeah. Yeah. I really want to shrink the box down. I'll make it disappear, but I can't. <laughs> because it'll turn the combine off. <clears throat> I'm used to using manual ignition. This is drive controls manual ignition. <clears throat> the manual ignition I use is by Vertex thing. Yeah, it is. got the blocks of wood in the window yes. I've got three plant pots with three orange trees in well orange trees sprouts lings 
Saplings. Saplings? I don't know. We're growing from seeds. The mind of a child is a wonderful thing. Yeah, this is, should make it a lot easier for us. See, the thing I'm concerned about is the GPS. See how it goes off like that? So it means when we come up this way, we're going to have to turn around and go back down that way. It could be a challenge without enough space to turn. So putting this extra headland in, we'll do it. I think it maybe already was two. Maybe. There's now three. We're good either way. Yeah, there was definitely two, wasn't there? A lot of overlap. Even more than what I'm doing. <laughs> but it's not sort of overlap with this, is it? It's an empty cut over. I'm going to get in a half cut. See, when it fills it, it goes right to the edge. So I'm still not quite filling it. I just don't want to miss bits. <laughs> but now, when he came over here, did he just turn or did he stop and shuffle? I think he just turned. I don't know. Have a look. See. Right, drop it down into the crop again. Is that what we're up to? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Destroying this field. Okay, so now we can definitely get on the GPS line. Sweet. So, lock, lock, boom. <coughs> nice. Back in business. I think this time I might actually go get the tractor. So I need to know how much is in it anyway. Hey, you hear that? 80% beep. <laughs> right, we. What I can do is actually finish this row. And then we'll break. I'm just going to leave the pipe out that way so I can drive the tap straight through. Everyone's a winner. So. There we go, finish that. Break on, pipe out, auto beacons, 30%. Right, we're just about there. There's that huge strip up there, isn't there? The textures are really hard to spot. Trades out, it just disappears. Right then, so how full are we? 64%. Fire up Shermie super weapon. I think he said he's actually got fifth as combine speed. Why can't I go up a gear? Oh, has he rebound them? Change gear. What? So I can't go up a gear. Why? How was my button? Uh, that was silly. That was silly. I think he's changed the gears. <laughs> ah, well played, Chevy. Well played. <laughs> I'm stuck in first now. <laughs> Do we have IC? Cool. That's nice. Right, we need to be about there, I think. Hello. Stop her. Oh, it's gone up to far again now. How did it. Because I turned it off. 
What the hell happened? <sighs> yeah, that works. He's changed the key band in the cheeky bugger. No, that's gear up, not O. That's O. Okay, you're back up. Thank you. All I want to do is turn you on. Is it time to spool everything up while we're turning, in theory? Alright, so straighten her up. Lock that in, drop that down, hit the button, and away we go again. Alright. Smooth operation. Yeah, this thing is dead. New coil required. <laughs> She's gonna put different colour welly boots on now. She's got an obsession with welly boots. I think this is a kid thing. Yeah, she's got a little one on the left foot and a different one on the right foot, a bigger one. Apparently she even got a foot in the purple thing on the left. Good effort, kid. Good effort. What we got? Can't see out in the back window. Just ha <laughs> It does work in here. Oh, this is the old version. Isn't it? It is. Yeah. It is. This is the old version. It's the new version. When you move it, it just keeps on moving. This one only moves as far as you move the mouse. So this is an old version of the OB camera. A few changes that I have done to it. I am thinking about trying to change how the input binding works. We shall see. Can reset, come over here, we've we'll got the controls, what do we have? The yellow one's a PTO I believe, so that'll be starting the reel. How do you start the internals of the combine? I thought it would just be one button starts everything. Maybe not. So I'll set the black ones for the internals and that one's for the reel. Yes. <laughs> I actually got a friend who has one of these. We'll be able to query him. I said it's his favourite job driving the Lexium. I think he's got 770. It is a monster. Oh, that's the one I needed. Grab that bit there. I think I've even missed a bit, haven't I? Yep. Second tool there. <coughs> but we should get this field nicely harvested off then by the end of this episode, guys. Champion. And I say, hopefully, we'll get some MP done. And we still have to get background to doing the time travel for the Sunday specials. Just where we got to. I can't think what the map was around now. Did I go straight from old? I did. So what ones do I actually have on FS15? I've gotten uh Oh god, what is it? I can't think what it is. The base map. Beyond home. <laughs> Beyond home. Yeah, I've got the Beyond Home let's play. I'd love to go and see how far we got with that one. Uh from there. We went to Aldridge. Have to have a sneaky look around that. See what state we left that in. And then we went to Oldfield. And we haven't been off there very long, so there's not much point putting that in the trip down memory lane. But I do believe there is a Holshausen MP. So we could have a look on that one as well. So we've got three maps to look at. And see where we left the Let's Plays. 
I'm not sure if the Hall's on as much of a let's play as just uh, everybody jump on and have fun. I know we spent hours looking for all the coins just to find out that the well wasn't in the map. That was annoying. I think Hall's House is a vertex map as well. This sucker punched us with that one. All the coins are there, lads. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, baby? <laughs> oh, we've arrived at the edge of the field again. Oh, head her up. You're already dressed. You got your trousers on, you got your t shirt on, you got your welly bobs on. You are dressed. Go you are dressed. Go. You are dressed. Go. You are dressed. I'm not getting dressed. I'm staying in my pajamas. It's a Sunday, day of rest. Yeah. yeah. Daddy is being lazy. What? Yes. What? Look, I'm driving a combine with no hands. Woohoo! Check me. <laughs> I'm as dressed as I'm going to get. Mm. We'd love to get Max dressed, but somebody's hidden his collar, haven't they? Mm-hmm. No idea what the kid's done with the dog's collar. That's gone. Long gone. A collar! Blue! Yeah, where is it? Sick him. Blue! <laughs> Yeah, Max's collar that you've lost. That he's had for years. Max's collar! Yeah, he's an eight year old dog. He's had the collar for seven of them. Max's collar! <laughs> Max's collar! The collar has literally been on the dog. For. It must be going on three, four years. It don't come off. The last time it came off was when he shook it off when he was on a kennel outside at a previous place I used to live. That was the last time the collar came off in until Annabelle decided to play and she now has how to undo the belt buckle style clasp. So the collar has been coming off the dog every time she gets a moment or pins him down. But it's weird because the dog actually likes his collar. I don't know, it's, it's like his little thing. If you take it off him, he will follow you around until you put it back on. And then he will go do his thing again. So, he must be kind of heartbroken at the minute because he's not got his colour. Am I going in the right one here? Yeah, it's just a long way down there. Okay. Did that engage? Yes, it did. So, just waiting on the crop. Is that a crop? Nope, crop's still a bit further down. Ah, we've got a little bit. Haha! <laughs> Just a little bit. And then a couple more tiny passes then and we're good. Sweet. The GPS has made this a lot easier. I have missed using these uh, mod cons but I've not missed them at the same time. I am enjoying what we're doing on Galvin. It's long work, it's hard work. Uh, at times it just get a little bit boring. But at the end of it, once that field's done, you can look back over it and you've got that sense of pride that you did that. You did that work, you put the graft in, you got the result. I don't know if that's a man thing, or if I'm just weird and it's just a me thing. But it's nice to see results. I can't be the only person who appreciates that. Like working on the RC tractor, putting the effort in putting the time in, the hours in, spending all that time on the lathe. And it's only a small result, but when you put it together, you've got something. That makes a difference, that's the inspiration. Blech. You leave those trees alone, you little bugger. Yeah, there will be trees, if you don't kill them first. You've had a good go at that one on the end, haven't you? 
will be a tree if you don't pull them out again. I might have to go and try and repot them today actually. That'll be fun. Try and get some soil out of the garden which doesn't have stones and rubble and crap in it. <laughs> this thing I'll spend most of the afternoon filtering out soil. Never get half a litre. Okay, I did not. I've got some fairly decent sized plant pots, I've just not put enough in them. I can probably actually show you. Can we do this? There we go. There's the cabbage. There's the plant pots. Nowhere near enough soil in them. <laughs> Put that back up there. And we're back in the game. Just in time to finish the row. Oh yeah. Getting good at this. <laughs> so we're like 23 minutes. It's, it's going to be a slightly longer video than the normal 20 minutes, but I think it's still in the acceptable window. Oh god, that's miles away. Alright, let's just put the boot down a bit. Come on. I've lost that sweet spot on the bloody accelerator again. What's that? Drop. Thank you. I missed a bit. And it's it's just rolling down the hill. <laughs> At least it rolled. That's a cool thing. I'm not sure if that's to do with that engine braking effect mod, or if we actually have the real rolling mod on here again. I don't think we do. I think it did get fixed. Eighty percent. It's not going to be a problem. Oh, we got the last corner to do now. Nice. Very nice. Mm, spin around again. Yeah, having that bigger headland down here has made a big difference for turning this round. I'm not worried about the trees anymore. I don't feel claustrophobic. You've got that space to breathe. Much better. Yes, the trees. No, upset the poor trees. They've not done anything to you. Leave them be. I think it's around 15 years before an orange tree will give fruit. <laughs> She'll be leaving school by the time I get the first orange off these trees. Assuming they survive. Have you dropped it? Mm -hmm. You dropped it. Mm -hmm. It gone. Forever. Like Max's collar. Yeah. Yeah. Ma Max's collar. Yeah, Max's collar. Gonna. I think that's what actually done. I'm not seeing anything. Da. Oh wait. Ah, she got it back. Little bugger. Yes. Here we go. Now we're done. I'm turn it off. That's naughty. That was a computer. I will defend this computer. <laughs> yes, go play over there with it now. You've encroached. You've caused mischief. Look, look good. Yeah, I'll get it out in a minute. Let me unload this combine. Yes, I know it's down there, but you're not going down there because there's a lot of wires. How are we close? Oh, yes. No. Oh. Give us it that bit at the end. I've no idea what it actually is compared to the trailer. Really? 
You were just work. Oh, is it full? Yeah, trailer's full. <laughs> okay then. Uh, I can't imagine it's a very good idea taking a combine down the road full. So we're going to leave it here. I'll empty it. That's not what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. There we go. I knew it'd come off eventually. Sweet. Right then. What I can do is ship this out. I don't know why he's changed the key bindings. Or even how I got it back up to four. How did I do it? What did I press? Sherman's going to have to drive this. <laughs> Changing the key binding sucks. Right, what we can do is just get the header back on that. I think we're done down here. Uh, 18, 19, meadow, 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 meadow. We've got those two to get off, so we've got to get the combine up there. 11 and 13 have been cleared. Yep, so it's just 9 and 10 to go. Bit more harvesting, yay. That'll be fun, we'll get that on the MP. In the meantime, fire this bad boy up. No handbrake. In the cab. Ah, for anybody interested, there has been a new Cattle and Crops video released. I've just watched it before this one. Uh, we finally get a look around the class that we saw in the yard. That's kind of cool. There's a couple points in the video where he looks at it and then he walks a different way. He's like, no, no, don't you dare. <laughs> Head towards the class. <laughs> so we shall see how it turns out. But it looks pretty good. The graphics look all right. The modelling are getting is up to some of the better FS15 standards. So as good as that is, it makes modding for it a real bitch. Because <laughs> to hit that same standard, you've got to put a lot of effort in. It's not easy to do. I mean, this is a nice combine, but compared to the Giants case models, it's not a nice combine. I mean, there is nothing wrong with this at all. It looks spot on. And it's only when you really put it next to those that you can see the difference and the effort Giants have put in and how far they've taken it. And it looks like uh, the Cattle and Crops team are doing the same thing. She's all, it's well and good. It's beautiful. I ain't arguing with that. What they're doing is fantastic. A lot of them. I'm hopeful Giants are going to finish off. To, ooh, yeah, full. Roll the way then. Come on. Lower it. Bin it. Don't you dare roll off again. Have I gone way too far with that? Yes, I have. But it's not coming off. Ha ha ha! Sit! Yeah, Cat and Crops is looking very impressive. Very, very impressive. Judging from what we've got in FS15 already, modelling wise, I reckon that FS17 is going to be more of the same brilliant standard of modelling. Just the the gubbins, the juicy bits, that's the bit we're interested in now. The IC controls, the manual start, the shuttle, the moving things, real terrain, deformable terrain, if uh, would be preferable, but real terrain otherwise, which is the mod we did. It's bouncing in the cab. It's just a little thing. It's a simulator. You call it farming simulator. Make it a simulator. We're done with the arcade now. Let's get into the nitty gritty. The hardcore stuff. And if you still want the arcade crap, have it as a separate option. Games used to do that years ago, didn't they? I think there's a, some of the racing games you used to get on the PlayStation, the Xbox. You can either choose arcade mode where you just jumped in there and caused hell. Uh, on some basic default settings. Or you could go into the simulation and tweak everything. Yeah. Simulation. <laughs> That's what we're after now. Simulation. But if people still want to play arcade, have it there as an option. 
set up some standards, launch that as our kid. Otherwise, pimp it. Well, that's my opinion. There's probably thousands and thousands and thousands out there hammering it on the Xbox and the PlayStation who really couldn't give a rat's ass about realism. They just want to play with tractors. <laughs> and for the business sense, those are the people you've got to aim for. Not the one guy on YouTube who likes to have opening doors. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much for watching, guys. We'll catch you next time. Let us. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you want to hang around. Catch you next time.